very pure water lakes. People come here specially to take a dive in that. It's 120 meters. But they say that very few lakes in the whole world which has got pure water. This is one of them which we saw there. And the water from there is coming from this top mountain. And the, the, within the spring it gives the beautiful water. So people come all the way to have a dive in this. Not in this cold. Of course, they enjoy this a week. We have a big mountain region all the way like this. This is going to release the water and melts and comes out down like this and it's going to form a, a waterfall. This waterfall is called the Gulfos waterfalls. Then the closest view of this river falls, you can see this fog here, it just slowly shows, slowly. The water is falling and then gives you a shooting, the starting point of the fog, very beautiful fog.
uh, we, have, we have walked all the way to the top region in December. This is a picture taken when the whole waterfalls become frozen. After seeing the waterfalls, now we are going to the hot springs region. We are on the way to hot springs. These are called the hot springs and the water come in contact with the geothermal sulfur spring. In Iceland, they generate a total electricity current for the whole Reykjavik from here. Apart from that, they also generate more power which is used for the aluminum industry near Reykjavik city. These are the steam turbines operating in this region. These are the regions where geothermal activity is taking place on Earth. The tour starts in the evening at 8 o'clock and then goes all the way up to 12 31 o'clock. Now we are going out of the city to avoid the ambient light and get the darkness so that you can see the northern light very nicely. Sixteen meters down the sea, not a single drop of water we can just see. All the surfaces are earthen, and only some places you just see the cement block like this. Now we start to see uh, icy one star. Okay. Now we are going for a night uh, uh, seeing. We are in the mid middle of the night. We are going to see the northern light. So this is, we have arrived here in the middle of the night. Now we have to climb all the way there to see the northern light. So whole night will be here up to maybe 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock to see this. Okay? Understand? Okay. It's coming? Okay. Huh? Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Now we are waiting for the northern light, it's almost the middle of the light. We are waiting for the light to become dull. Then you can just see the slowly.
Okay, start. Ah, this my friend from England has taken beautiful pictures. Okay, next one. Excellent. With a uh, 30 seconds delay. So beautiful. Very nice. Next. Oh, brilliant. Next. Oh, great. Fantastic. Next. Ah, fantastic, sir. Thank you. Next. Oh, so, so far. That's it. Oh, no, okay. oh, fantastic. You can see the small lights at the town. These are the village lights on the top. You can see so beautiful. This is my friend has taken from his camera with 30 seconds continuously holding still. Great. Thank you. <laughs> it is almost uh, very difficult to take the northern lights in a video camera. So people use the SLR camera with a time lapse mode to take the pictures. They take the picture every 30 seconds for only one or two hours so that you can get a beautiful view of the northern lights. After collecting all the data, they will run like a movie. That's how this it looks like so nice. Then on the way. A Roman goddess of dawn. It's a natural light display in the sky, particularly in the high latitudes like Arctic or the Antarctic regions. Which this type of effects you are going to get in the sky, called the northern lights. <laughs>